Good morning! We are starting our day with an orange, a banana, a glass of water, and some tea! <laughs> it's the 25th of September, 10 past 9 in the morning. It's a new week! Happy Monday! We are just getting ready. I'm about to head out in maybe 30 minutes to meet up with my friend Kalaya and go to a cafe. We're going to a Filipino cafe called Capihan, and I'm so excited because I've spent, I didn't even know about this cafe until two days ago, but once she told me about it, I've just been scrolling through their Instagram. They have these Filipino rice cakes, bibinka, that I can't wait to try. I've been seeing pictures of so many different flavors. Ah, this is what I live for. This is what I live for. Going out to cafes, trying new foods, just spending some time with friends, sitting down, having some good conversation. I've really been looking forward to it and it's going to be nice to bring you along with me as well. Today was actually, I was meant to start my master's degree today. Today is the first day of term. For reasons outside of my control, I'm now going to be starting one week later. And that feels, it does feel a bit heavy. It does make me feel a bit sad. I've been looking forward to today, to this date for so long. It's a university I've wanted to attend for years. But at the end of today, I've done everything that I can do. This is outside of my control. And things will happen in its own time. I just have to trust that for whatever reason, I wasn't meant to be there today. <laughs> I'm just going to have to trust in that and comfort myself with that. This is what I'm wearing. You, oh, you won't be able to fully see it. This dress, I just got this dress and I know you can't see the full thing, but it's so cute. It is so cute. I feel so beautiful in it. I would love to wear this with my black boots, with, with these boots. But, but I need to be comfortable because I like to walk. <laughs> So I only like putting on boots if I know I'm just going like straight somewhere and straight back home. And I don't think that will be the case today because I am off the whole day. So once we've been to the cafe, I might take a walk. So we need to be comfortable. Guys, do you want me to let you in on a secret? So I don't shave, right? We already know this. So when I put on my deodorant, because I use a roll-on one, Sometimes what happens is that it clumps the hair together like this. So what I have to do before I go out is to get this and just brush it out. See, that looks so much better. <laughs> I just find it so funny because little teenage me, whose worst fear was someone seeing her body hair, who was obsessively shaving and waxing, Little teenage me would never believe that this is where I am in my life. That I am standing here combing out my armpit hair. <laughs> I love it. I love it to be healing in this way. Okay, it's 9.35, so we're gonna get going. The reason we're leaving so early is because the cafe is in Battersea. And I live on the complete opposite side of London. <laughs> it's going to take us about an hour to get there. So we'll, we'll bring a book. I didn't finish reading the book I started yesterday. So we'll bring that. We'll bring our journal. And then we'll just enjoy this hour of traveling. The sun is out as well. It's looking beautiful. I'm excited. Let's go and enjoy our day. So I got one of the original giving cards and then I got the pesto pandesan. Wow, look at that. 
show you this one as well. Delicious. We made it to Battersea Park. Look how beautiful it is! No, we can talk at the same time. It's okay. <laughs> It's close to 3 p.m. We just said that's the sound of an airplane. We just said goodbye to Kalaya, walked her to the bus stop, and now I'm back in Battersea Park sitting on this bench. This is one of my favorite parks in London. It's so beautiful here. It's so beautiful here, but it's not very close to where I live, so I don't come here too often. But anytime I'm here, I just, I love it. I love being here. The cafe that we went to, everything was delicious. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Like, I'm already craving it again. And now we have another airplane coming and directing our conversation. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. <laughs> It's just we've had such a lovely time. We sat there talking, we had some really, really good conversations, which I appreciated. And then we took a walk through the park, we sat down for a while. I feel so grateful to have spent this time with my friend. So grateful. What a nice Monday we're having. The plan for the rest of the day is... I'm gonna stick around in Battersea Park for a bit longer, probably do some journaling. I've got my journal right there with me. <laughs> do some journaling, continue walking, and then we'll probably walk by the water, get into central London, and figure out the rest from there. Guys, I just, my award from my bachelor's degree that I just finished just got posted and I got a first class degree. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> so much of these three years have been so tough on me. But I fucking did it. I fucking did it. I feel a bit silly even mentioning it because I'm like, who cares about my grades or my degree? But I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. I feel... What the fuck? <laughs> I feel so proud of myself. I'm gonna call my mom and tell her. I wish you could see this bridge during evening time when the lights are on. It's so stunning. A few hours have passed. We took our walk, made it back home. As you can see, I had some food, some leftovers from yesterday, took a quick shower, and now we're gonna go to the cinema. We're gonna see A Haunting in Venice. I love anything Agatha Christie. I'm so excited to see this film. I haven't even seen the trailer, don't even know who's cast in it, so I'm just so excited to go there this evening. Haven't booked my ticket yet, but we're gonna go to the 7 p.m. screening, and I just can't wait to just sit there and see everything for the first time and disappear into the movie. I was meant to go this weekend, didn't happen, and then I was thinking to go later in the week, but I'm working from tomorrow. So today, tonight is the perfect time. Also, what happened with work? Because I was meant to start my new degree today, 
My last day of work was on Thursday. I said goodbye to everyone. They gave me this really nice box of chocolate. And then once it became clear that I wouldn't be able to start today, I sent my one of my managers a message this morning and I was like, hey, if you need me to come in today, you know, begging for money. <laughs> begging to be paid. If you need me to come in, I would love to help. <laughs> Before anything, we're gonna go and get me a bubble tea. I haven't had a boba in so long. I need one. Oh, I can't believe what just happened. I'm someone who pays attention to detail. Things like this never happen to me, but it just did. I ordered the wrong bubble tea. I want a jasmine green milk tea with coconut jelly and I forgot saying milk, so I got jasmine green tea. <laughs> Imagine my face when they handed me my drink. I was like, <laughs> I don't even like bobas without the milk. I don't like the fruity or just the tea ones. <laughs> <sighs> I was so happy as well because I got the coconut jelly for free because I had like, an offer on the app. So I was like, ooh, I'm cashing in. I felt so good about myself and then this happens to me <laughs> the thing is if someone else was with with me i would probably just order a new drink and then share this drink with them but because i'm by myself i'm not gonna drink two drinks and i don't want to waste the one i already have either so we're just gonna have to roll with it <laughs> i love the film loved it I would love to see it again because I'm so easily scared, so I was so jumpy the whole film. <laughs> so now that I already know when the jumpy bits are gonna come in, I, I think I would enjoy it so much more. This, however, I was fighting with myself to drink it, and no, I'm not drinking this. I don't like green tea. It's fine if there's some milk in there, but just like this, it's so bitter and I asked for it to be with zero sugar because with the milk it's so much sweeter and that's the drink I was <laughs> I thought that I ordered so no we're not gonna throw it away though we're gonna bring this home pour the liquid out and eat the coconut jelly because I'm not wasting that at the bottom I'm not wasting that deliciousness okay let's sort out our drink situation before we do anything else at this point half this video is me talking about my boba <laughs> No! Man down! Not wasting it. <laughs> Ooh, there we go! Was that all of them? <gasps> There's still some left! I'm not wasting a single piece of coconut jelly. We have our coconut jelly, we have our spoon. Mm -hmm. Bro, it still tastes like green tea. Mm. The day is coming to an end. I just heated up some food that I'm about to have. I have some grapes with me as well to snack on later. All I'm thinking about is how much I'm craving the pandasal I had earlier at the cafe. It was with pesto and red onion. Oh, magical. It was, it was so delicious. Oh, I wish that cafe was closer to me. Now the plan is to eat my food, drink my water, watch something, if I know myself right, I'm gonna end up googling a bunch of reviews of the movie I saw. Because once I've seen something, I'm like, okay, what's everyone else saying? <laughs> I need to know, did we like it? Did we not like it? What are our thoughts? I want to know. Tell me. By the way, I finished a book that we started yesterday, that I showed you yesterday. And I... I didn't like it. It just didn't do anything for me. I could have gone without it. 
The book that I read before this one as well, I didn't enjoy. I stopped reading it halfway through. So tomorrow after work, I'm going to go to the bookshop and I'm going to make sure that I leave with a book that's going to change my life in a good way. I need that. Like I, after these two books, I'm like, I need a good book experience. <laughs> I, I, I need it. Like my whole body is desperate to just disappear into a good book. But yes, I'm gonna say goodnight to you here. I hope that this coming week will be kind to you. I hope that you're being kind and gentle with yourself, with your surroundings. And I'm sending a bunch of love your way, a bunch of encouragement your way. I'm so happy to have you here with me, so happy to be spending this time together, sharing these moments together. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming along on this Monday. Bye! Mwah.